Hip dips have always been one of my biggest insecurities and I never thought I'd be able to alleviate the appearance of them. After searching all over YouTube trying to find the workout that would help me alleviate the appearance of my hip dips, I finally found the one that worked for me. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe. Turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Now as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about hip dips and I know I've mentioned before how I had a really big insecurity about my hip dips and I'm going to be going through all the stages of everything I did to be able to reduce the appearance of my hip dips. So I'm going to be going through all the stages of how they came about, what they are, what exercises work best, general information about them as well and about your journey when it comes to this. So first of all I started with very big hip dips. Even when I got to the end of my weight loss journey I had very big hip dips. And now I'm at the stage where I don't really have them as much anymore. They are very slightly there now but there's a drastic difference to the position that they are in now. There's so many videos all over YouTube uh, about how to get rid of hip dips and things like that everywhere and I just wanted to go into the science backed evidence of how to reduce the appearance of hip dips. So first of all what are hip dips? Hip dips are actually our skeletal structure. This could be completely different for every single person and that's why they vary from person to person. It's the difference between the ilium and the hip socket. I'll put a picture up here so you know what I'm referring to. That's why there's such differences in each person's hip dips and they they are completely normal. When my hip dips started off a lot bigger I was really worried that a lot of people have much smaller hip dips. I don't really see as many people with as large hip dips. But is there anything wrong? No. It's completely normal. Every single person will have them. It just depends on how big they are and how visible they are from that distance. That nicely moves on to my next point that you cannot change the distance from your ilium to your hip bone. That is just set. That is always going to be that way. You cannot change the distance but. But we can go into talking about how you can reduce your hip dips through workouts, through exercise and other realms of methods. I can go on to talk about surgery towards the end because I think it's very important important for me to talk about that as well. So I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos on YouTube about how to remove hip dips in 10 days and 7 days and all sorts of things like that. Kinds of claims within exercises and although those workouts are not reducing the distance between those bones, those workouts are creating a layer of fat in front of it in order to build up the muscle, in order to build up the muscle within that area as much as you possibly can for each individual person. So those kinds of workouts are really good. Of course it takes a lot of dedication. It's knowing the right workouts, what's really going to help activate that muscle. But what you can do is build up the muscle because it's all about tissue. The muscle tissue within those areas. The muscle tissue within those areas will allow you to create a fuller, more rounder look. And I will be going on to which workouts those are that are really effective and I want to mention another way because a lot of the time when we do gain body weight as well, sometimes hip dips can slightly disappear. And again, you're building at the fat within that area. So it puffs out that area a bit more to reduce the amount of dippage your body has, that depression within your legs. As I say, it's absolutely nothing to worry about. It's just our natural, beautiful bodies and the way that they stand. When I started to do workouts, I was really pleasantly surprised that I was actually able to work on an area that I was previously really insecure about. And looking back now, I can see how completely normal it is. At the time, people won't notice it on you, but we do notice it on ourselves. When we're wearing a nice dress, we're the ones to notice it on ourselves. But I never really look at someone and think, oh, I can see their hip dips. Moving on to the exercises and workouts. Workout number one, a lot of glute workouts really allow you to build that muscle in that area, really targeting those inner, those inner muscles. So glute workouts are absolutely fantastic for this. So a lot of the time when we see people who do glute workouts, although we see that they've achieved a rounder bottom, but also they can bring out their hip dips with them to create a rounder, fuller looking area. And those 
Joe's workouts are absolutely fantastic for that. I'll put a few videos up here of the types of workouts that I mean, and I would do these every day to do, for example, a set of 30. Adding resistance will allow you to extend the potential of the workouts that you are doing. It allows you to really, really push your muscles to places they haven't been before to achieve that ultimate result. The next workout I absolutely love, it's really good for pushing your muscles and body in the workout to achieve the results you've never achieved before. The next one, which is the Holy Grail that I have mentioned in so many videos, and actually on my journey as well, I have mentioned that you, I love it because you can really feel that burn within those areas as well, and that is the abductors. At the gym, they do have the abductor machine. What I like about that is that you can increase the weight. And like I say, when you're trying to work on an area where you want to build muscle around, you do want to increase the weight so you can build the muscle around the area faster. For example, men can just shoot tub and muscle and gain a lot of muscle very quickly. And they use the example of increasing your weight as you go and always increasing your weight so your body is always working at its optimum. I like the abductors that you can do in the gym if you're gym based, but if you're home based, you can just use objects around the home to add a little bit of weight as you're doing them. And this is absolutely fantastic for that. Now this one is absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you've all seen the video that Kourtney Kardashian says she uses these as her holy grail and they do make such a difference and I can absolutely vouch for that as well. This one is just a good one overall and it's used in so many hip dip workouts and that is fire hydrants. I used to really dislike this workout because I never used to understand it apart from being amazing for glutes. It was just one of those where I was just like, it's not my favourite workout but when it comes to hip dips it's my favourite workout. It's absolutely fantastic because you can just feel everything working in the correct places. You're really going to be pushing those muscles in order to make sure you're achieving that optimum hip dip exercise and making sure those muscles are really really working. And when I look at these workouts I absolutely always say adding resistance is going to be fantastic to achieving the most optimum result for yourselves and increasing the resistance to make sure you're not staying stagnant in those areas and you are working at your optimum. Continuing to add resistance, continuing to increase your weight to make sure I'm really really seeing those results. For me I would say two weeks was the time where I saw big results but it's going to be absolutely different for every single person but remember it's working on that muscle to ensure that it can make our hip dips fill out a little bit more. Now because these are simple movements I would say doing these every single day is really really achievable. That's the routine I used in order to see the most effective results going through that. 15 minutes a day or you can even use your own hip dip workouts that you find but doing it regularly allows that consistency of seeing optimum results. Increasing resistance is so so key because it's going to allow you to achieve those fast and getting the optimal of those workouts in the best ways possible. Again, it works the same way with glutes. People who have a bigger glute area than others, it all comes down to your skeletal structure. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can get an idea of how it really works. And again, every single shape is beautiful whether you start with smaller glutes, larger glutes. It's all within our skeletal structure. So this method with the hip dips works very similarly with how it works with our glutes. You know, any shape, any shape and size that we come out with is already there in our skeletal structure. What we do is we work with the tissue and the muscle within that area to bring it out even more. So when we see people doing hip dip or glute workouts on Instagram, it's ensuring that when we do them ourselves, it's adding that resistance, adding that weight, because that's how we achieve our optimum when doing these workouts to get the best results possible for ourselves. Now, of course, I want to go into talking about body positivity. Now, it's always important to remember that we see a lot of people on Instagram, um, you know, on, on TV, who celebrity-wise seemingly have no hip dips at all. Now it's important to remember that a lot of people do have hip dip surgery where they get fat placed into the hip dips um, from other areas as a sort of sort of shortcut. Now I think it's important to emphasize that every single pers person is beautifully made as they are already and any person who wants surgery that's completely up to them. Personally it's not my thing at all in the slightest but it's important to remember just because you see someone online, a model or a celebrity who has smaller hip dips 
lips, it doesn't mean you're any less beautiful. If it's really something you want to have, it's important to remember that you can do that the natural way at home, with your workouts, with your resistance, with increasing your muscle. Never feel pressurised to look exactly like them or to look like them. You're beautifully and perfectly the way that you are and that's absolutely normal and there's nothing wrong with that at all. We're all the exact way we are supposed to be and that's what's so beautiful about it. Now guys I hope you have enjoyed this video, if you have don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up, turn your bell notifications on to get notified every single time that I upload and give this video a massive thumbs up. Love you guys and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!